This is Craig with Karshalton Advisory, and this is the review of the Objective 1.2 practice tasks for the Microsoft Excel Core 2016 exam. Let's get started. Let's start by opening up the Excel 1.2 workbook. Once this is open, we're going to search the workbook for instances of the word garden. So we do that by going into Home, Find and Select, and Find. This brings up our Find and Replace dialog box. I'm going to hit close here. Let's also do that with our keyboard by hitting Control F. Finding and replacing is a very common task that you're going to be doing in Excel. So let's practice those keyboard shortcuts. Now that we have this dialog box open, we are going to look for the word garden. So we're going to type that right into our dialog box and hit Find All. Once we've done this, in the bottom it shows us all of the examples of the word garden that are in the workbook. Now when we look at the directions, it says confirm that the search returns results from both worksheets. We can look at that by in this sheet column here, we'll notice that all of the returns are from the product list worksheet. So what we're going to do is select options. And in this first option here where it says within sheet, we are going to toggle this to workbook. And we will hit find all. When we do this, we notice there are now many additional finds of the word garden for us. And we can confirm that we have finds on the product list page, as well as the employee's worksheet. All told, there are 11 cells that have been found with this word. Great, next we're going to use the find dialog again, and we are gonna look for the white font color. So not only can we select or search for terms, words or numbers, we can also use it to find formats. So let's do that by hitting Control F. And this time I'm gonna delete the word reference and instead I'm gonna select format. In this, I'm gonna go to font. And so you can search any of these things. We've been instructed to search for a color, which we're gonna choose here and I'm gonna select the white color. I'll hit OK. And now when I select find all, it's gonna look through the whole workbook and it has found one example on the employee sheet. And this is cell C7. When I close this, sure enough, the there's no text showing here, but I can look in the formula bar that there actually is text in the workbook. I am going to highlight all the text in the cell. I'll hit control one to open up the font dialog box and select orange for my color. Let's click OK. And now on this worksheet, it has orange text. Next, we're gonna move from the employees worksheet to the product list. There's a couple ways we can do that. One is by highlighting the worksheet that we wanna to go to and clicking. The other way is I can use the keyboard and hit control page up, and that's gonna move me up to the next worksheet to the left without having to use the mouse and taking my hands off the keyboard. Now that we are here, we're gonna to move to the first cell that contains a comment. So uh, I will point out that uh, it didn't ask us to find it, but merely to move. So you can think of that as going to. There's two ways that I'll show to do this. First is through the home selection on the ribbon. We'll go over to find and select, and then choose our go to. The other option, and then you'll note as I hover over this, it's gonna show me the shortcut right below my mouse there, and that's by hitting Control G. Go to is another one of the shortcuts that are worth memorizing in Excel, and we're gonna hit Control G, and that's gonna bring up our go to dialog box. Now, you'll notice there isn't any options to select comments here in this list. What we'll do is we'll click on Special. Once there, the first option that's listed there is Comments. When I select OK, sure enough, Excel has jumped down to the first comment here in cell A38. Now you can tell that there's a comment in that cell because of the red triangle in the upper right hand corner. When I hover over that cell, it's going to actually show me what the comment is. So by hitting Control G, Special, Comments, and OK, it automatically brings me to this comment. And also you'll notice it's highlighted other comments that are in this worksheet. Next, 
let's move to the cell range named berry bushes. Okay, I think we'll learn about cell ranges, named cell ranges a little bit later, but for now we'll hit Control-G to bring up our dialog, go to dialog. Our first option is berry bushes. So we'll select that and hit OK. And now we've selected down to this, we've jumped down to this range in row 102 where the berry bushes are. Next, we need to move to cell F13. We're going to rely on our go to box again. And in the reference, I'm going to hit F13 and enter. And now my selected cell is F13, which is the berry bushes option. Once I'm here, we're going to create a hyperlink. And we want to do that and select the berry bushes cell range. So a hyper I'll quickly go through three ways in which you can create a hyperlink from the berry bushes cell to the named range. First, on the ribbon, we can go to insert link, insert link brings up our link dialog box. Second way is if we right click on the active cell, at the very bottom there is a link option. Again, by selecting that we get the hyperlink dialog box. And the third way is with Control K as a keyboard shortcut lets us get there as well. So now that we're here, we wanna go to a, so this is the different places you can link to. So this is existing files. This one is places in this document. There's create new links and to email addresses. So we want to select place in this document. And the first one there is this is listed alphabetically is berry bushes. So we'll select it. We'll click OK. And now our text is changed and there is a hyperlink displayed. So let's click that just to make sure it works. Perfect. That brings us down now to this highlighted range, which is uh, the berry bushes section of that table. So we'll go back to the top. Uh, lastly, what they would like us to do is to go to the intersection of the last active row and column in the worksheet. Now this is, you know, this is actually something you may find yourself doing somewhat uh, regularly in that um, you're not sure if there's any other data on the worksheet that you can't see. So is there a way of finding out kind of where the active part ends? So the first way we're going to do it is by using the go to function. So we'll get to that by control G. Let's turn this sheet active. All right, control G in special. We can select last cell and click OK. And so what this tells us is that, all right, there are no, there's no data in this worksheet to the right of the active cell or below it. So we know we haven't, you know, missed anything. So there's one other way to do it uh, that is in the way I normally use it, and that's using a keyboard shortcut of control end. And so when we hit control end, it takes us to the exact same spot. For the last set of practice tasks, they want us to go to the employees worksheet. So I'm going to hit control page down in order to go to the next tab in the workbook. I'm going to use my go to command for practice and type in C12. And in this cell, they would like us to enter a hyperlink. So hit command K. Here's our hyperlink. And we want to select existing file or web location. In the address here at the bottom, we're going to type in what is listed in our textbook. And in this case, it's going to be www.adventureworks.com. We can see that it also shows the text to display at the top here. So when we click OK, now in this cell, we have that link already put it already displayed for us. Uh, if we were to click on that, uh, it would take us to that website. Lastly, they want us to change the, or to edit the hyperlink so that the text or the cell displays different text. So uh, what we're going to do in this is we're going to uh, right click. We're going to select edit the hyperlink. And now 
where it says text to display at the top, we're going to overwrite this and type in please visit our website. So the link at the bottom remains unchanged. The address is just the text that's going to change. Let's click OK. So now it says please visit our website. If we hover over it, we can see that uh, it still is taking us to the originally indicated website. Perfect. Thanks so much for watching. M make sure uh, if you thought this was worthwhile to give it a thumbs up or a subscribe. I'll look forward to visiting with you on our next video. Thanks for watching.